I have decided to learn English. From where should I start? Hey friends, my name is Gustavo. I'm also an English student and for those who are new, I create videos about learning English. I share what I have learned and I intend to keep you inspired and motivated to learn a second language because no matter how your background is, English is free and inclusive for everybody, no matter age, gender, religion, politics, social status, nothing. If you have been hesitating about learning English, it is something you have dreamed about it and finally you have made the decision stick to this video because I'm going to tell you the first milestones you need to take in order to follow the right learning path. If you need to take note from now on, go ahead. Alright, first thing first, I want you to be aware of two essential requirements. If you want to succeed, number one is dedication. You need to be committed and have a sales compromise. It involves putting in consistent effort and focus regardless if you decided to go and take lessons in school, private lesson or even study by yourself. The second one, time management. It is the process of planning and organizing how to divide your time between your lessons, self-study and practice. At this point, it is also important to mention time consuming. In a couple of weeks studying constantly, you will start seeing results, of course, but to master and become fluent in English requires years. Now that you are informed, you don't rush and put too much pressure on you. It is a long way, so the best way is to enjoy the process. In case you are attending private lessons or going to a school, you need to consider how long your lessons are going to last. If you are going to learn by yourself, you need to set goals and organize topics and assessments. So please keep these things in mind. Once you are mentally prepared, you are going to get a pen and a notebook because you are going to journal your process. You are going to write down, take note of the important parts of the lesson, exercises, new words and expression. Write down all the grammar rules. I highly recommend start journaling your process. So in a short paragraph, start describing briefly in English, of course, what you learn, how you feel, your thoughts, your ideas and more things you consider important. No matter if you get only few words to describe something or only simple words because it is a early stage for you to create a whole sentence, it's totally understandable. So this way you practice and review your lesson. Start with basic. Focus on common phrases and vocabulary in everyday situation. Learn greetings, good morning, good evening, alphabet numbers, bears, animals, adjectives like cold, hot, heavy, beautiful, colors. You need to be literally in a child's shoes. Remember when you were a little child at the age of four when you started naming all the things around you and asking many questions? I'm old-fashioned to be honest and I like to write in my notebook all the new expression vocabulary and I keep them repeating many times till they get a stick to my mind. However, there are some apps or flash cards that you can use so maybe that way will be easy for you. A part of vocabulary what you can study is simple grammar rules how to conjugate the verb to be, for example, how to ask basic questions, how to introduce yourself, how to use do or does, present simple. I'm going to make your life easier and in the description of this video, I'm going to attach a link with all the topics you can study one by one for beginners. If you study by yourself, what you need to do is to set learning goals, for example, this week uh, numbers. So you will make sure in this week you will learn all the numbers. What I used to do was to divide the lesson in two, grammar and vocabulary. Let's say, for example, 30 minutes studying simple present and then 
30 minutes memorizing vocabulary. I do believe that studying one hour daily without any distraction is enough. Even what I still sometimes do is to take a picture of my notes and review them during the day. When I have a break in my work or when I go to the gym, I check them quickly and keep the knowledge fresh in my mind. The last thing you can also do is immersion. If you live in a non-English speaking country, try to listen podcasts and music, watch films in English and try to be in an immersion surrounded by English. This way you will use and you practice what you have learned. Furthermore, if there are groups where you can practice, join them and start making friends with who you can practice or social media is also another good uh, tool to make friends and to start using English. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Follow this recommendation, the first step if you are going to start studying English. If not, I encourage you to do it. When you learn English, you can manifest a prosperous future. I'm going to leave attached a previous video where I tell my story how learning English changed my life and my dear friends, don't waste more time and start changing your life as well. So I see you next week in a new video. Bye bye!